Finally, after so long, he is back. The master of disguise. Hello and welcome back to Mad Men with a Box. I'm one of the Mad Men, Oz Chris, and I'm here to talk about Master. Uh, wait, considering which version of the Master this is, I think I should pronounce it correctly. You know, I might as well. Um... <clears throat> Master. Yes, I'm here to talk about the audio series Master, starring The Master. Which Master in particular? Well, it, it's always just The Master, but if we're gonna, you know, be very specific, it is the movie Master, uh, portrayed by Eric Roberts in the Doctor Who movie. Um, he has reprised the role before in previous Big Finish stories, such as Day of the Master, which is part of Ravenous, and Masterful, where various incarnations of the Master uh, met with one another, and this version of the Master has appeared in other expanded materials such as the novels and the comics, but this time he gets a series all to himself. He's, he's not sharing it with any other Master, he's not sharing it with the Doctor this time. He's, uh, he's out on his own this time, getting up to some evil deeds, trying to escape the Time Vortex. So what is Master about? Well, Master, which came out in the 30th of March 2021, is comprised of three connecting stories, Faustian, Prey, and Vengeance. In Vengeance, Dr. Lila Krieg is being used by the Master as a means to free him from the Time Vortex. He wants out of that place, and considering the stuff that's in there, you know, you got the Reapers, you got all these other kind of monsters, maybe he'll get hit by a phone box every once in a while while it's traveling. It's not the particularly a good place to be trapped in, so understandably he wants out of that place, which leads to Prey. Uh, having placed himself in a position of power, nothing can now touch him. He's free to do whatever he wants, but he's now in the crosshairs of the beautiful bounty hunter Vienna Salvatore, which leads to our finale, Vengeance, where humanity's enemies, the master's frenemies, the Daleks are back. No, not those ones. Yet yeah, those ones. We're not going to talk about the Power Ranger Daleks, why Moffat thought they needed to be as thick as Solid Snake. Emperor, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the Time Lords. So what are my thoughts on Master? I'll start off by saying I did not really care about Eric Roberts' master, the movie master. I wasn't particularly a big fan of his version of the master. I, it's not that I hated him, it's just that I preferred other incarnations. I was more of the, uh, the, uh, the Tremis incarnation if from Classic Who, from, like, the end of the fourth Doctor onwards, and, um, Harold Saxon master. They were my, particularly my two favorites. Missy would come in at, like, a close second or third place with those, but, um, after listening to this audio series, I have a newfound love for Eric Roberts' master. His performance as the master, I don't know, because it's been a while since I've watched the Doctor Who movie, so he, he, like him as the master is kind of just blank, but like listening to him here, oh my god, <laughs> I absolutely love his performance as the master. I love this version of the master in this story. He has this, he has this like sense of like suave superiority. He's kind of like cool evil if that's a thing. Like he's just s such a cool character <laughs> in this story. Um he has, he has, he has, oh, he has such a great he has such great moments in this. Like there was one in particular when he's um he's assumed the identity of um Lila's boss, Magnus Drake, uh, who's the head of the company that she works for, and he's working out this deal, but he wants the deal to benefit more to him. So he's like, I want more of what you're supplying to me, and you're getting less of the money. So he's changing the deals, uh so it's more it it, it is more of an advantage to him less to the uh, supplier and they try to weasel out of it he kind of bluffs them into 
accepting the deal they're like okay 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 we'll, we'll accept the deal we'll accept the deal you know we want to be friends with you you know partners you know business partners friends we don't want to we want to want we don't want to make an enemy out of you and the master says to him i don't have enemies no one's stupid enough to be my enemy and like listening to that i'm like oh my god that is oh that is so cool that is so awesome just to hear hear him say something like that because it's kind of funny, like considering you know, Eric Roberts, American. He um, he he has like a kind of American businessman uh, persona with this master. Funny enough, because he masquerades as a businessman in the story, so it fits perfectly. But like, he he always will try to negotiate with everyone, but he knows that he is the one that has the advantage, and he is just going to backstab them anyway. Um, the in prey he's like talking to this like kind of like king of like these like this gang like crime gang or whatever and he's like well i have power you definitely have power i respect that but i can give you more power if you let me live i can give you more power and that's what you want we both understand each other i, I understand you the power is the only thing you want and i can give you more of that you can get you can do better than this like and i can give it to you knowing fully well like later on if that were to actually happen the master would just eventually just kill him because he doesn't really need him <laughs> like his usefulness of like getting the master out of that situation would be done he would have no use for that character uh at all at that point and would just kill them off anyway and i just really love that about this version of the master he is in he knows that he is in control of the situation. Even if this, if this, the odds are kind of stacked against him, it looks like he's, it's gonna go horribly wrong for him. He instinctually knows that he is the one that's in control. It will always favor him at the end. Now he is the top dog, the the big boss, uh, the Sigma male. <laughs> Sigma male. <laughs> uh, Eric Roberts just does a fantastic job of of portraying this um in this series um another uh, another standout character would be vienna now i know vienna has appeared in previous doctor who big finish stories i know she has her own audio series as well uh, i'm not familiar with that character i'm more i'm fairly recent to the big finish uh stuff so um i feel like if i listened to a lot of her stuff i would have got it a bit I would have known her a bit more. I would have been more familiar with this character. But regardless, I wasn't really lost when it came to Vienna. I got a good idea of what of what her character was in this series. She's kind of like you know, a can-do bounty hunter. She she the one last job. You know, I'm just two days from retirement. You know that kind of thing. Um, uh, you know, so many obstacles in her way. Is like, well, I can't get out of this now because. If she, if she if she fails she she kind of dies that's the problem so it's like well i don't want to die so i'm gonna have to find a way out of this and continue with the mission as much as it's kind of you know it's balls up from here on now but like I just, it's what i really liked and enjoyed about her character in this series uh, another character would be lila she's she's a good person to play off from the master she's not evil she's somewhat morally gray um, because they they talk about her backstory where she did an experiment and it resulted in someone's death and she was kind of like distraught about it and then uh, she just c came to like this realization oh this was just going this is just something that happens because you know not every test is going to be perfect you keep make you keep doing these tests until it's perfect there's going to be consequences it just happens like it's almost like a ends justifies the means kind of person like yeah she's not evil she's just somewhat morally gray i wouldn't say fully she's somewhat because she doesn't really agree with what the master does but she's in a situation where she she kind of has to play along with him because she's not only getting what she wants but she also gets to live she doesn't want to die so she has to play along with the master until she can get herself into a spot where she can get out of this and get the master out as well like take him out um 
And then another character that I enjoyed was Magnus Drake, uh, Lila's boss, the person that the master impersonates. Um, I really like this guy. I I feel like he could also work as a villain if it, this wasn't a master story. If like he was a villain to like another character in their audio series, or like uh, uh, or a villain like in a just a as against the Doctor or something like that. I feel like he would he works really well as an antagonist. I really like um, that actor's performance. Um, Alistair Petrie is the one who voices Magnus Drake. Awesome job. Really, really like it. It's, and it kind of fits with the whole, like, the master is being this, like, you know, kind of, like, you know, evil corporate businessman because Magnus is kind of the same as well. So he, he's essentially kind of like the master as well. <laughs> new it, new master incarnation is like, well, you know, it's probably a, li a huge line of, like, people uh, that we thought were going to be the master. You know. Top of the, the most recent edition, obviously, being the Grand Serpent, and that was, well... That was just a waste of a great performance. Ignoring Flux, back onto the master. Um, the theme. Now, each each master they've had their audio series, the War Master, Mi Missy, they've had their own themes. And of course, this version of the master is no exception. He gets his own theme. I quite like this theme. It has a kind of royal... Egyptian, Arabian kind of feel to it, considering like the 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 Warmaster's appearance through like a lot of like like the box art or just how he's appeared in like other media. If he's not like wearing like the black like the black leather like coat or whatever it's called, like that appearance, he's wearing like the the Gallifreyan robes. He, he looks like royalty. He looks like a king. So I think the theme kind of like expresses that that he, he that he's kind of royalty now he is the master he's someone of power and the theme really like does a really good job of like capturing that um and kind of the start of it it kind of it sorry the start of it kind of like reminds me of like a like like snake or like a rattle you know, considering you know how this master started as like the death worm a very like serpent like creature so that also fits with it if that's what they were going for they absolutely nailed it um it's not my favorite of the master themes um I, the war masters theme in his series oh that is art <laughs> that is pure art it, amazing um maybe i'll talk about the war masters series i don't know i think we're gonna i might, might talk with my fellow fellow co-hosts about his series or maybe I might do it by myself. Who knows? But overall, with uh, Master, I would give this a 8 out of 10. Haha. -ha. Um, I quite enjoyed this series. I really did not go in with a lot of expectations. It was, as, like I said, it was a Master. I, it wasn't particularly my favorite. I didn't particularly care for this version of the Master. But I ended up enjoying and loving every moment that he was in it. Um, Eric Roberts, fantastic. He did a fantastic and great performance as the master in this series. And um, I hope we get more. I honestly hope we get more of this version of the master. Like, whether it be as a character in other people's series or is given another one of his own series, because this is part of the worlds of Doctor Who, which are like, okay, these are like the other characters. They won't get like an ongoing series maybe they'll get like one series two series you know they're not like river song where she has like i think like four or five series or like unit that has several different series um we'll test the waters with these these ones maybe give them something um hopefully we get more of this version of the master the movie master within his own stuff i think the main problem is it's going to be <clears throat> predictable how the stories would end because they have put in a... They have established how this incarnation ends. So, um... Um... They just... They can't contradict that. Um... So, they have this... I think they put themselves in this nice little area where, like... Okay, he's trapped in the time vortex. How long? I don't think they ever specified, like, how long he was trapped in there. I think... 
they probably just say, oh, hundreds of years, thousands of years. So literally anything, you know, could happen in there. But I think it would just be, um, like I said, it'd be very predictable how each story would, each series would end. It's like, oh, he's just going to be sent back into the time vortex. Like, so there really is no stakes or something like that or something similar. If that, we, we always know how the story will end. Um, regardless whether we get more or whether this is just it, I absolutely enjoyed this series. So definitely, definitely go check it out. You know, definitely go check it out. You know, there are other series I, I definitely liked more, like, like like The War Doctor, The War Doctor Begins. That's another one where, ooh, perfect, perfect series. Uh, we have talked about that, me and my fellow co-hosts on Mad Men with a Box, we've talked about that, the, at least the first story within The War Doctor Begins Series 1, Light the Flame. Um, I think that video is out, so if you haven't already, go check it out, or if it hasn't come out yet, look forward to it. I don't know how timelines work or when this video will come out, so hope you enjoyed it or hope you will enjoy it. <laughs> but um, yes, definitely go check out The Master. It's good. 8 out of 10. Good. So that is it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all in the next one. Ciao.